everybody. Thanks for stopping in. I like spaghetti squash, but these things are hard as a rock. And for someone like me with TOS or thoracic outlet syndrome, they can be tough to cut through. And that can put me in pain for the rest of the day. So um, I have cooked them whole in the crock pot a few times, and that works pretty good. But I've also read that you can bake them in the oven as well. But what I want to find out today is, can you do it in a toaster oven? So let's get toasting. Now the article that I was reading said that you should take a fork and poke a few holes in these so they don't explode. But I don't think a fork was gonna cut it for me, so I dug through my toolbox and found a punch. So let's see if this works. That works pretty good. Even this punch is kinda hard to get through that thing. Okay, I'm just gonna do a few holes like that. And I have this glass baking dish that it fits right in, but it's gonna be a tight fit. So to be honest, I have no idea how this is gonna work or if it's gonna work at all. This is going to be a really tight squeeze. I'm gonna have to pull the oven rack out of there. And then I'm gonna try just setting the dish right on the very bottom of the oven. It just makes it, just clears it. But as you can see, this baking dish is sitting right on the bottom. I mean, that's the bottom burner right there, bottom heating element. It's got a little guard over the top of it, so it's sitting on that. I set my oven to bake at 400 degrees, and I'll just kind of keep an eye on it, and if I think that's too hot, then I'll turn it down. And you know what? I think I'm going to add just a little bit of water to that dish. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but we'll see. Okay, we'll get that started and we'll be back in a while and see what the heck happens. <laughs> well, it's been about 45 minutes and this smells pretty good, so let's check on it. thinking I should try to turn it maybe so that the top is at the bottom. If I can do this without making a mess here. Okay. All right. Okay. See how that works. Still seems pretty hard, but it looks pretty good. Okay, this has been cooking for an hour and a half, still at 400 degrees, and it looks pretty good. No fire, no smoke, no explosions, no cracked dishes. I think I'm gonna get it out of there. I covered this with plastic wrap. I'm gonna let it rest for about a half an hour before I mess with it. The outside seems pretty soft, so hopefully the inside will look good. Okay, this is done resting. Let's see how it looks. Hard to cut still. Dang. There we go. I have to cut my finger off. Things are hard to cut even when they're cooked. Alright. Well, how's it look? Looks hot, you know that. Ooh, well. I think it looks pretty good. See that's it's really black or brown on the skin right there, but as you can see, the squash looks good. So uh, let me scoop that out of there. Just scooping all the seeds out of the middle there. They come out pretty easily. Looks good, came right out of there. Well, I have to say this was successful. You can see why they call this spaghetti squash, because it's stringy just like spaghetti. Now these outer edges that got a little browner, they're a little darker colored, but they taste fine. And uh, I think it turned out real good. So hour and a half at 400 degrees, and then I let it rest under plastic wrap and kind of steam for another half hour, but look at that, turned out really good.
toaster oven comes through again. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.